Neuralink, spearheaded by Elon Musk, has recently unveiled a groundbreaking development the commencement of human trials for their cutting-edge brain implant device. The N1 Brain Computer Interface BCI device, accompanied by the intricate R1 surgical robot procedure, is set to redefine the intersection of technology and neuroscience. Neuralink's recent announcement signifies a pivotal moment in the exploration of brain-machine interfaces BMEs, and their potential impact on human capabilities. The ambitious project has garnered approval from an independent institutional review board to initiate the PRIME study, a comprehensive investigational medical device trial spanning an anticipated six years. This study aims to evaluate the safety and functionality of Neuralink's fully implantable wireless brain-computer interface, marking a significant leap forward in medical and technological advancements. Over the first 18 months of the PRIME study, Neuralink plans to recruit around 10 human participants who will undergo a meticulous selection process. The study participants, comprising individuals with quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injuries or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a LS will be subjected to the N1BCI device implantation and the accompanying R1 surgical robot procedure. This phase will involve regular check-ins with a dedicated medical team, ensuring the seamless operation of the Neuralink device. By monthly one-hour BCI research sessions will be a vital component of the study, enabling researchers to monitor progress and assess the device's performance. These sessions, conducted at least twice a week for each participant, will contribute crucial data to the comprehensive understanding of the Neuralink technology's impact on individuals with paralysis. Following the primary study, a long-term follow-up phase will extend over five years, involving four clinical visits per year. This phase seeks to delve deeper into the safety and functionality of the M1 implant and the R1 surgical robot. The overarching goal of the prime study is to evaluate the Neuralink technology's potential to empower individuals with full-body paralysis to control external devices through their thoughts. A key highlight of this study is the deployment of the Neuralink R1 robot, a sophisticated tool reminiscent of a sewing machine. This robotic device delicately places ultra-fine threads into the motor cortex of the brain, a region crucial for controlling movement intentions. The surgical procedure involves a precise incision in the skull, facilitating the insertion of the N1 implant. Neuralink envisions future iterations of this procedure that preserve the protective dura layer, enhancing safety and minimizing invasiveness. At this point, the Neuralink will use an advanced targeting computer to place a total of 64 electrode threads directly into the outer layer of the brain, penetrating only a couple of millimeters deep. This will be done with a level of precision that avoids any rupture of the blood vessels that flow through the brain tissue. Once the threads are inserted, the N1 device is placed inside the void of the skull, and the skin flap is replaced and sewn shut. The first of its kind surgical procedure will allow the N1 implant to be cosmetically invisible underneath the patient's skin while still being able to transmit and record brain signals wirelessly through a Bluetooth connection to Neuralink's own smartphone app. The app will decode the movement intention from the cortex and translate it into computer input commands. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Neuralink, expressed his enthusiasm for the trial on social media. Known as Exelon, he anticipates that the first human patient will soon receive a Neuralink device, emphasizing its potential to restore full-body movement. Musk's long-term vision for Neuralink extends beyond its applications in restoring motor functions. He envisions the technology as a bridge between the human brain and artificial general intelligence. Musk posits that Neuralink's role in AI risk and civilization risk reduction lies in significantly improving human-to-AI and human-to-human -human bandwidth. By eliminating the input lag between human thought and computer action, Neuralink could pave the way for seamless communication with advanced artificial intelligence. Musk's futuristic perspective raises questions about the necessity for an instantaneous high-bandwidth connection between the human mind and AI anticipating a future where such a connection becomes imperative. In pondering the potential of Neuralink, Musk draws attention to the theoretical scenario of Stephen Hawking having access to this technology. Despite severe limitations in communication, Hawking's brilliance and influence in theoretical physics and cosmology were undeniable. Musk contemplates the removal of communication barriers, allowing the human mind to express thoughts, ideas, and feelings 
without the limitations imposed by conventional language. Musk's vision extends further, suggesting that a Neuralink implant could synergize with Tesla's humanoid robotic technology. He cites Luke Skywalker's robotic hand in Empire strikes back as a metaphor for seamlessly integrating technology with the human body. This integration, facilitated by Neuralink, could enable individuals to transcend the limitations of the biological form, marking a paradigm shift in human-machine interactions. Neuralink, in its announcement, explicitly states its focus on trial subjects suffering from quadriplegia due to spinal cord injuries, or ALS. While Neuralink doesn't claim to heal spinal cord injuries or reverse degenerative effects, it offers an avenue for a more dignified and fulfilling life through enhanced communication. Drawing parallels with their success in trials involving macaque monkeys playing Pong using Neuralink, the potential for fully controlling computers beckons a future where neurological conditions are comprehensively addressed. Elon Musk's audacious claims about Neuralink's potential to reverse the effects of spinal cord injuries and degenerative brain diseases remain speculative. The scientific community faces immense challenges in understanding the root causes of these conditions, making the prospect of correction a complex and uncertain endeavor. However, the success of Neuralink's initial clinical trial could open doors to broader research into neurological disorders, pushing the boundaries of what is currently understood. For anyone who thinks they might qualify for a Neuralink trial, there is a patient registry that you can join. This is for both current and future clinical trials. Neuralink uses their patient registry to understand the needs of a larger and more diverse group of individuals with various disability conditions. The registry is open to anyone within the United States who is at least 18 years of age and suffers from quadriplegia, paraplegia, vision loss, hearing loss, the inability to speak, or major limb amputation. Neuralink's foray into human testing signifies a monumental leap in the exploration of brain-machine interfaces. As the prime study unfolds, the world watches with anticipation, not only for advancements in restoring motor functions, but also for potential breakthroughs in addressing complex neurological conditions. From the meticulous surgical procedures involving the R1 robot to Musk's futuristic visions of human-AI synergy, Neuralink stands at the forefront of innovation, pushing the boundaries of what is conceivable in the realm of neuroscience and technology. The journey from a sewing machine like robot to seamless brain-computer interfaces holds the promise of reshaping the future of human-machine interactions and ushering in an era of unprecedented possibilities.